This is Greg Palcott in Damascus, where on the surface at least, everything seems normal, busy, colorful. But look a little closer and the signs of war are everywhere, literally. Billboards try to boost morale for the Syrian military. At countless checkpoints, there is the search for the enemy and numerous blast walls protect against terror attacks. Listen a little closer and you hear the sounds of war. Day and night, there is the constant thunder of outgoing artillery blasts. Regime forces are targeting the outlying neighborhoods of Damascus where rebels are still holding sway and firing back. Fearful of reprisals, these government soldiers want their identities concealed. We're told the pace of the fight has increased now that the Syrian government is worrying less about U.S. military strikes. That following the deal aimed at getting rid of the country's chemical weapons. The Bashar al-Assad regime is claiming victory. Some of its supporters sound emboldened as well. We are not frightened. We will face death even, but we still are here. This is our country. The war is affecting everyone, though. Supply lines are disrupted, causing shortages in essentials like fuel, causing long lines and high prices at the gas pump. Prices for food and other essentials are soaring. There are runs on items as well. We are afraid of war, this baker says. For that, many people came in here to buy bread. And there are worries and prayers for minorities here. Skirmishing still continues in an historic, predominantly Christian town north of Damascus. With Islamists in the rebel ranks, people are concerned Christians will be targeted. We're having now an, a fight. Uh, it's like a war between religions, between Muslims and Christians. It has been 14 months since we were last here, and the numbers tell the ugly, deadly tale. In July 2012, 19,000 people had been killed in fighting. Now, 110,000 are dead. Despite all the talking, this brutal war grinds on. Brett. Greg Palcott in Damascus, Syria. Greg, thank you.